for today's session on a career in fine arts at the Collaborative Learning Cafe. The Collaborative Learning Cafe, or the CLC in short, is an initiative by the Jesuits and the Friends of Jesuits of the Goa province. It was launched in June 2021. It aims to encourage lifelong learning, job-oriented career skills, regardless of age barriers. It also promotes short-term courses and creates role models among the youth. So for today's session, we have Mr. Jordan Inacio de Souza, who is a Goa-based visual artist. He recently graduated with a degree in painting at Goa College of Art. His practice involves painting subjects from day-to-day -day life experiences. On behalf of everyone, I extend a warm welcome to Mr. Jordan. Jordan, over to you. Yeah, hi everyone, good evening. Thank you for Jordan for the lovely introduction for me. Yeah, my name is uh, Jordan Dinasha D'Souza. I'm a visual artist from Goa. As Jordan have introduced you, I have graduated in Bachelor's in Fine Arts specialization in portraiture at Goa College of Arts. And currently I'm doing my master's in the same college. So on good evening to each and every one of you. Let's have a good session today talking about fine arts, getting to know more about fine arts, what fine art really is. Yeah, so fine art is something created for aesthetic purpose. There are different kinds of arts. Like normally people tend to think that art is something for uh, like a portrait done is art. That also is a part of art. But fine art is something done for beautification purpose, no, not for decorative art. There are people who are doing uh, many things. Like everyone is an artist, I will say. In a little, little ways, everyone does beautiful things. There are... No, Art is something like decorative is not art. Art, the literal meaning of fine art is aesthetically beautiful. An artist generally puts emotions into his paintings and all. Like for example, Savio, can I have the PPT please? Yeah, just one minute. Yeah, by the time anyone can uh, interact in the middle, you can ask me questions. And when I'm talking, it's not an issue. You can just raise your hand and ask me anything, what you like, any difficulties you have regarding anything, inquiries about fine arts, uh, what are the things. And we can just have an interactive session, not just from my end, just talking about everything, but even from your end, I would like to, for, to hear everything about yourself too. Can I, Savio, can you swipe down? Uh, can you zoom any one of the painting, which is the red one, maybe? Okay. Am I audible to everyone? Yes, you are. Yeah. Uh, so this is a painting which I have commissioned for one of my clients. So this people might, the normal public of ours might think that this is a painting and it's really beautiful, but this is not what I will call as fine arts. This is just a skill that I have developed and the form of art, which I have done and I have portrayed to people. This is not called real art as such. This is something that is a skill. People do portraits of each other, like exactly real, hyper-realistic. That's called hyper-realistic art. But you won't get it into art because 
art is something that a artist connects emotionally to him there might be a work that a artist has gone through a lot and then the only way an artist tries to get it is through his painting as i we are called visual artists a visual artist tries to portray his emotions into visual painting uh, so you can you just swipe on top please the first painting the top one the exact on top yeah so this is the title of my painting was ecstasy of frederico costa so this is my grandfather and he is a fisherman and my grandmother's family is entirely brought up by the fisherman's career he he chose his profession as a fisherman so this painting has a meaning behind it it's not just drawn for beautification purpose or just for it to look beautiful every object in this painting has a significance it has a meaning to it this painting after this painting literally has something to it people there are people like my grandfather he has raised his entire family only to the career of fishing nowadays people are choosing different careers right like i have chosen fine arts as my career people over here have chosen different careers and it's all for living and it's even the when we are born and when we are brought up in schools and all we have uh, been taught a lot of lessons science we have we have history we have geography we have art and we have variety of subjects but the thing is that when we we are studying what is the thing that we are looking for what are we growing into there might be someone who wants to be a footballer someone who wants to be a priest someone who wants to be a doctor and we try to go towards that career and it's our parents who support us so i i had the thing in painting i liked drawing a lot though it was very difficult in time when i was in kg and all it was very difficult for me to draw my father helped me to draw a christmas tree i still remember i literally was struggling to draw a christmas tree at that moment but right now it's something that is literally easy for me so it's when parents support you to take careers it's they are in, they are this thing where there are some parents who say like why you don't want to why you want to go into that career you won't earn anything you want to you should be a doctor you should be an engineer you will go on ever to but it's what we feel what we need to become if you feel you need to become that you just don't think about are you going to earn or no when you work hard towards a particular stream or a goal what you are good at definitely you will get flourished and you will get success in that thing you don't need to see are you going to get money or no when you work hard in any field of life you will definitely get success into that so my painting which savio had shown it was it, it had a meaning behind it's not just and the previous painting which i displayed to you was a painting that was just done for a skill purpose it was it was displaying my skill on doing the painting whereas the painting of my grandfather it has skill as well it ha- it has a meaning to the public and people with similar thing they can also relate to the paintings that's the real meaning of art it's not just doing something replicating something and you're saying that is art there are many hobby artists but when you want to really mean something you need to get out your emotions into the work so what are the different forms of art we go to know it's not just painting it's sculpture the 3d forms which we do then there are murals which we do on the walls there are poetry poetry is also sense of art dance theater music this everything is art it's not just painting art is literally a vast thing and art is literally beautiful when you art has aesthetic value to it when you i still remember when i was in first year my one of my sir he told us when you you'll have joined the college gradually when you all start passing through the years when you look at the things in your surrounding you will see uh, not just an object for example when you see a tree a normal human will see a tree as a tree but when we artist when we are when we are going through a fine art course uh, we have subjects like aesthetics history of art fundamentals fundamentals of art fundamentals of art include line 
texture, design, and sort of things. So balance when you when you do a painting, it needs to be equally balanced with color, composition, texture in the painting. It must be skillful as well. It must be communicable to the public. It must be visually as well as conceptually important for people to understand a painting. So when my sir said, you will not just look at a tree in the form of a tree, but you will start looking for it in a way much more deeper. For now, when I see at any object in nature, I try to search a meaning behind it. When I see into a tree, I see the textures in the tree, the colors. A single tree has so beautiful textures. The shades of brown, the leaves are literally beautiful. The greens, the shades of green, it has several greens. Normally, when we do a tree, when we are small, we just do a single color green. But when you literally look at a tree, a tree is not just a single green. It has several thousands of greens into it. It is so beautiful. For inspiration, we don't need to search something when we are an artist. Artist tries to convey his own and life into his painting. It is a trees, the nature, what he is brought up into. I am my grandmother's family is a fisherman family. So my paintings are mostly into the my trying to discover the uh, the tradition of fishery into my work, trying to get my grandfather. I have quoted a lot of my grandfather because when I was small, I was being brought up at my grandfather's place. Most of the time I was at my grandmother's place and that's what I have seen. I've seen them going for fishing, doing the nets, the golden day boat. And as time has come, the things are getting degraded. Like with right now with time, if you could see modernization, the beaches are getting destroyed and a lot of things. And my paintings also involve my surroundings, my family members, and it's my own life experiences which I am portraying into painting. Nothing that is coming externally and anything that affects me a lot. We don't need to search for inspiration in art. Art is around you only. Anyone can do art. It's just that you need to be potential enough to have the patience to do something. When you look at an object of a tree, fishes, whatever, whatever is in the nature, everything is beautiful and it's pleasing to each and every one. Uh, I would like to, you all to interact in the middle and ask me some questions regarding by what I have said till now, maybe. Hello. We have some question uh, in the chat box, I guess. Yeah, okay. I just saw one question. How easy it is to get into an art school? It's, uh, it's not, I won't say it is very difficult, neither will I say it's very easy. It is, if, a, if you are truly, uh, truly giving it your best in getting into fine arts by doing the basics, you know how to do steel life. You know how to paint an object. You have the basic idea of drawing a landscape. You know how to manage with color. Then it is very easy to get into fine arts college. It's not difficult to get into a college. There are now in, in um, a college when I approached, when I joined fine arts, I had a totally different intuition about what was art. I thought that doing art was just about uh, landscapes, portraits. And I thought it's literally simple, I thought. But when I joined fine arts, I had the knowledge of art. I knew what was drawing. I used to go near my one of my one of the artists, Inacio Alvarez. He was my sir. He taught me after eleventh. I went for classes in him for a month, for three or four months. He shaped me. He taught me color blending. He taught me composition. He taught me portraiture. He taught me shading. Everything he taught me. So. When I joined, he told me it is going to be very difficult to join fine arts college. It's literally a difficult thing. And there are several of people applying, you know, there's not just one or two people. It is like literally you get 150 seats out of which are uh, 300 and all which out of which and there are two streams in fine art. There is painting and there is applied. So in painting, there were like 20 seats and in applied, there were 30. So total 50 students are getting selected. 
that was literally a tough thing to get selected out of 300 students but uh, i just gave it my best i had got the fourth rank during my this thing it also plays up your percentage is also important to get in fine arts the one that you get in 12th and you need to join fine arts just after your 12th is over you can't join after your 10th you need to grow you need to pass your 12th and if you get a good percentage then definitely you can get into fine arts and it's not difficult if you have knowledge about the basic what we have for, for fine arts exam is uh, you have a land you have a memory drawing they'll give you a topic example a rainy day or, or market scenery or anything you just need to replicate it you need to have composition you need to have good colors they won't see your drawing but you need to have a good drawing for that and then they'll have a still life wherein the still life is something when the objects are placed in front of you like an apple banana some utensils pottery and all and then you need to just try to get it composed into a paper and you need to choose your medium your medium is free you can do acrylic you can do poster colors you can do crayons you can do watercolors that's up to you you need to paint it in a given span of time and once you're done then you submit it and we have two th one a theory general paper based on arts fine arts like general knowledge because when you're getting into fine arts you literally have to have at least some idea of what fine art is like lakshman pearl he is a great well-known artist of goa if you like they will ask questions like this like people who are Goan artists and all Mario Miranda, Trinidad, you need to know about artists like this, F.N. Souza. he's a Goan, he's from Salikam. You need to know such artists. So it's not easy, it's not difficult to get into finance, very easy to get into it. You just need to have. Why is it, why is it when I paint something which is in my head, it doesn't come out well, but if I copy from somewhere, it comes out beautifully. See, it's the same thing with me. I am doing fine arts right now. But uh, to tell you frankly, I can't do something uh, imaginary. It is something you can take a reference of something, but you need to have a meaning to the painting. Like when you're thinking of something, for for an instance, when you think, okay, you have something, you have an idea in your head. I will do a painting. It will look something like this, but it will never turn out like that because what you have in your head will never come in your canvas. And uh, for a, for instance, a painting is never complete. A painting. You, I might do a painting today, but for days, the painting might keep going into my head. I might come after a month and see the painting and say, oh, I should have done something else to the painting. A painting is never complete. Remember that thing. a painting is kept looking after and you need to keep looking, looking and you will keep doing a painting. It's not that when you think of something and something else is made up of, it will come something different, but you need to and when you look at something in your door that that is a that's your skill you have a good skill that means and then you can replicate things that is but that won't give you something you need to try to put your if there are people who feel sad who try to miss a person you need to get it into your painting so can i'll just show you an example uh, Salu, can you just share the painting that which i did the sofa Yeah, so the painting which is being displayed over there, that's a sofa. My title of the painting was sofa. So what do you see in this painting? It's just a, when you ordinary person see it, you say it's just a normal sofa which is painted onto a canvas. But for me, this sofa had a deep meaning into it. The sofa, I did not do it uh, imaginary. It's a live sofa in my house. And I took reference of photographic references. My paintings are mostly photographic references. And I take two, three photos and I compose it into a painting. They're not something that I imagine and I do something. It's always references. It's not only me, there are all artists who are taking references. There are few artists who are really this thing, who do by imaginary forms and all. But re taking reference is not, not a bad thing. But you can't just copy something like an artist might do a painting. If you just copy that, that will not that won't be a god art if you copy van gogh starry night you can't say that it's your work because you're replicating something so my this painting was so far was uh, it was emotionally very attached to my that was a painting which i was done during covid when my cousin brother came to stay at my place and then all after four months when he went uh, back to his place uh every time i saw at the sofa where he used to sit for the 
in lockdown we were just at home nothing no going out nothing entire day in house he used to be sitting on that sofa as soon as he went home i started getting uh, the feeling of the emptiness that he was not there with me and that emptiness i tried to portray it into my canvas by showing the sofa where he used to be sitting the entire day so that's an example wherein i tried to portray my emotions with a reference for a starter okay, for a starter what would you be starting the starting point what what would what should they do first so for a starting the general thing if you want to learn fine arts and, and you want to do learn drawing it's very simple you just need to take a rough book just a pen pencil anything and just scribble you just need to scribble whatever you see in your house if you see a uh, if you see a mom if you see a dad if you see a glass of water if it's an apple just scribble it around you don't it doesn't need to come perfect but just daily scribbles that is what will improve your drawing skills i also when i started fine arts we used to go to the bus stop to scribble to do sketching we used to do like 10 20 30 sketches a day just rapid sketches they never turned out to be very good but eventually with time they they really uh, they become good and that helps you distinct it helps you improve your skills so it's that you just need to do sketching gradually with sketching you can uh, start mixing up colors different colors with each other and you'll understand what how you if you tell me to create a color it's very simple for me because it's not that i look when i look at a color only you can make out like okay i need to add this into that so that will come only when you practice a lot practice is a must in fine arts and sketching is also a must you cannot do without sketching and uh, practice because this other thing that will help you really get into fine arts and this is the basics even after i'm doing masters right now but sketching is never out of practice so i would like to more people to interact maybe you can ask more many questions so i can also help you all get them up because it's if i keep talking people might get bored also i am finding interest in animation but i don't know how to start it see for animation like you there are several apps nowadays you can just opt for any of the apps like for animation i am not into animation i am into drawing but i don't know any much of them but there are a lot of uh, apps recently which are come i don't know names of any of them but there are in my college applied art is there which is uh, game which which teaches animation animation also is similar to this thing you don't need to this thing is just about practice sketching it's just like a human form which are trying to make it animate so keeping the characteristics the same you just elongate the nose you elongate the eye you elongate the body the body might be small the head might be big it's simple as that what should you do first for that is just you need to sketch sketch is the main thing and if you you find animation and if you find animation interesting just download a few apps if you have a laptop and just scribble up and maybe you can start with copying any animation things and then gradually you can start creating your own animation forms maybe how about abstract painting as a form of art see abstract painting people they think that okay that 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 doesn't have anything it's just one plain color uh, jackson pollock is one of the famous abstract artists is one of the famous web abstract artists there is wesley kandinsky as well so this artist they did not start directly with abstract art now in this generation what they do you know i see in college and all uh, people on their social on social media handles they do a painting and say it's an abstract art see abstract art can't just be made you know you can't just paint a paper orange or just a green color and then say okay this is abstract art see abstract art is not something this thing it is something that doesn't have a form abstract art is something that doesn't have a form it's not a recognizable form it is recognizable but doesn't have a form so for abstract art the artist like wesley kandinsky and all they went through a slow process it took them almost their life span like from their journey no they did not start directly to abstract art they went from they started with the normal sketch in human body they went to doing the portraits they did landscapes live landscapes they did paintings which were emotionally attached to them gradually with doing doing they went to such a huge experience 
that experience itself made them they, they were intellectually very thinking they thought a lot it was their process it was the thinking mentality that brought them to that stage it made them think so much that they came to a particular stage in life after 30 40 years of painting that is the time when they came to a stage wherein that was called abstract art for abstract art it's not it's not just when you see it abstract art it's a lot of deep aesthetic meaning to it it's not just a plain color when you see to it it's that artist's experience in the field of art that he has put into that form and it's an abstract artist never you up every individual when they see at an abstract work of art he every individual have a different meaning to it you will derive a different meaning someone else will derive a different meaning it's not just that uh, a person will look at the abstract work of art and everyone will get the same meaning out of it someone might get it someone may not understand it but the abstract work of, work of art is just an experience of an artist which is painting and after a lot of painting experience a person can't just do abstract art and say it's abstract art because that is not abstract art abstract art has a lot of knowledge and after a lot of experience in painting that is what the result comes up to how can those who are not going, I mean, not in their twenties, also get into art? If so, how? See, a person who is into who is who are not young, and I mean, they are old age also. There are people coming to attend talks. So now, Goa Center for Arts, it's in Panjim. Uh, that they they have webinars, they have meetings, they have uh, workshops. For everyone, just not students, not just kids and all, they have for a group, age group of wide variety. People go over there to listen to the talks. There are various field of artists, I'm not just painting, art, theater, music. They all come over there to be a part. They have workshops, like different workshops, and they have talks on the same thing. They have talks talking about different forms of art. They tell you what to do and all. So it's not about the age. Of arts, anyone can MF Hussein and all they started at a literally a later age. There were there are several artists who did not start painting from young age, but they opted to Rabindranath Tagore and all if you go to see they did not start in their young age, they started around in their forties and all. So he used to do rough sketches, Rabindranath Tagore. He started Shanti Niketan College, which is in this thing, Baroda. So it's like literally you need to you don't need you there's no age for art. You can learn anytime. You just need to be this thing. And it's also that a person who... See, you can't... A, a thing that you don't like, right? A person doesn't have any interest or liking towards it. You will never able to do that thing unless you have a liking. A liking is a must. Uh, if you tell me to do something what I don't like, I will do it. But for the sake of doing, I wouldn't have that same interest in what I'm trying to do. Fine arts is art. When I say, you say drawing, painting, it's like I put my 100%, my soul and heart into it. It's like that. And then people, you know, there are some people who say like, okay, now what are your plans after fine arts? See, for an artist, there are different kind of jobs and all. It's not just um, when I was, when I came into fine arts, when I was in 12th and all, I thought, like, okay, I'll join fine arts. I will do painting and I'll get very famous. See, it's not about famous. When you're when you're joining fine arts, and if you think that I will be famous, then born then your dream is going to end there and there. It's when you're joining fine arts, don't even have a thinking that you're going to get famous. It's your hard work and your dedication that will make people know about you. It's not that you're going to become famous over there. It's your practice. It's your work that will reach to people and will make you. People will like your work and they will make you famous. You don't need to work for that. You need to work on your painting skills. That's it. You'll get fame. And for job. So for job. For fine arts, what job can we do? Like you can join as a teacher in a school. You can be a professor in a fine arts college. You'll need to do masters for that. And then you need to opt for some exams and you need to clear that exam. Then you can be a part of the uh, institution of a fine arts. You can you can be into creative uh, directing. You can join anything. 
you can uh, even you can if there you can approach galleries you need to send your you need to send your portfolios to galleries if they like your work and all they select you as an artist for their gallery then they pay your expenses you just need to provide paintings for them they pay you can be a teacher you can be a curator you can there are curator meaning of a curator is when a, a artist there's a curator will explain the work of an artist to the spectator the public so that's a job of curator you can be a self based artist you can just do paintings you can you get commissions a lot and it's not that when people ask me like what are you going to do it see you can in fine arts you can't tell what you are going to do it's just you need to keep doing drawings painting and you will automatically people will start knowing you hello no uh, dorothy are you able to hear me Jelton, am I audible enough? Yes, yes, you are. Yeah. Okay. When is your favorite time of the day to create? Okay, see, that is not a, nothing such as a favorite time and all. A artist uh, sometimes the artist might not feel to do anything at all the entire day. He might feel very lazy enough to do. and when you are lazy enough you can't just go and sit and do anything you need to you need to be into that mood you know to do painting there are times when you literally and for doing a painting right you need a space that will there are there are i feel that for me when i go to the college i literally feel to paint a lot when i get good vibes over there and definitely good lighting lighting is a must when you are doing painting you really need a good lighting because if it dim light you will never able to do something you need really bright light to do something you literally you will get and you will, a, a bright light is something that even brightens up your thoughts and all i feel for me and yeah it's very what time of the day is not specific for me it's like any time when i feel i need to paint something i will paint it up but most probably uh in the college i paint during the day only and in the at, if i'm painting at home it's mostly at the night while like to paint because night is the time i feel it's like very peaceful and i can paint very well do the art materials that you are, that are used affect the artwork drastically what are some good art brands to work with okay see yeah the art material does impact the work of art like if you choose cheaper material the outcome also will be not that brilliant because the colors there are different brands of colors like prasto roy fine art then you have camlin you have natraj you have what is that brand winsor and newton you have different brands so it's the brand we need to see as a brand so the brand gives you the pigment there are winsor and newton the best watercolor company you can go for they literally they are small just a box of this watercolor cakes will cost you around 6000 like it's literally expensive but when you go for those brand you can when you are purchasing their brand and you can go only if you are expert at that quality like watercolors like watercolor the box will cost you around 6000 just this much but you you need to buy that only if you are an expert at that level but if you buy it for just the quality and if you don't do that level of work it's like literally pointless so the quality of the material really affect there are papers which are really good quality you call when you go to art shop people normally buy with general public they just give me a paper chart paper but we want to do something really good quality they have gsm called in gsm 100 gsm 300 gsm 600 gsm the higher the gsm the thicker the paper quality is the better the quality is and even we have handmade papers as well as uh, handmade papers are something that are good for acrylic watercolors watercolors and if you want to do something very finished work like pencil shading and all you get thin cartridge so these are the thick cartridge and thin cartridge thick cartridge is good for watercolor and thin are good for pencil shading and all uh, what person do you need to get in goa college of art uh, see it's you don't need something as 90s and 80s and 70s and A person who got for fifty percent, forty percent also got into college, but you even you can't just give it a low percentage with nothing into. If you have a skill in fine arts, then definitely you can get into. You need your see the percentage is not important actually, but 
if you have a percentage it's like greater chance for you to get into goa college of arts it's like then definitely you went to arts so when i when i entered for the exam my percentage was 76 in 10 in no uh, in 12 it was 81 so i had a i knew that my percentage was good enough and 12 literally i did not study for the percentage i was studying hard so that i will get a good percentage so that i will get into goa college of arts i didn't wanted a percentage for you know like telling i got this percentage but for me that percentage was important because i wanted my chances to be literally very high to get into college and then definitely my drawings was drawings was also good enough and i had studied for the for the exam i had went through some google information i asked people what about some artist and all and yes so it's like 50 at least you need to but the better the percentage the higher your chances will get but even if the percentage is low enough it's not a issue at least you have to have a good skill for your painting at least because that's important at last commercial art versus fine art what's the difference and how should one decide okay commercial art commercial art you see was is fine art fine art is something i will say is very powerful it has a lot of meaning to it and commercial art is something when a com- when a person will tell you oh, can you paint me a portrait of someone that you are that you are replicating something you are not putting into your value i am doing a portrait of a person i am doing a, someone says me can you do a commission portrait of our chief minister pramod sawant i say okay i am ready to do and i am doing a portrait of him i have done the portrait that won't have my my artist won't it won't have my emotions into it that a person there are people who are good at doing portraits you go see on instagram and that's their hyper realistic artist who do portraits really brilliant but then is there meaning to it like no there is no meaning to it it's just a portrait my mother itself she always sees on facebook she will see any of some of the people who are doing very realistic artworks and like mostly portraits she said look at the person he doing portraits and when i when i show my painting like uh, is there a meaning see when you do a painting the sofa and all it has a meaning to it and fine arts is that a uh, artist why do, why do you, when someone ask you a true artist who have gone through all several stages he won't seek for anything else he will just seek for satisfaction for his own self a commercial artist tries to satisfy the customer A, visual, a fine artist, a visual artist, try to satisfy his own soul. The painting which he does, he will get happiness through his own painting. That is what is important for a visual artist. It's not the this thing. Whereas for a commercial artist, it is how much he is satisfying the customer, how much he is satisfying the client who has told him to do that object. Whereas when you are doing your painting for yourself, you need to satisfy your own self. And artists mostly do that only. They try to put their emotions. their feelings into a painting which they cannot convey through words so they portrayed into a painting they try to put their painting with their heart and soul i had just read a quote somewhere where in the people when where they said that when a artist dies god gives him a chance to paint the sky i don't know how far it is true but definitely let's see the day something happens like that there's a quote like this art is not just about drawing this or that it's it's the journey of the spirit include which for far more important everything else that falls into place another thing is like i will talk about art as if it is the best it's the last religion left on earth the only thing that unites and an art is not what you see okay it is what you make people see that is the most important thing in art this is said by pablo picasso art is life art is a line that makes us realize the truth art washes away from the soul and the dust of everyday life so art is something really powerful and commercial art is nothing in front of fine arts commercial art is just for the purpose of doing commercial painting and satisfying when you do a when a real artist does a painting it is much stronger and has a lot of aesthetic value to it so i'll definitely and people have a wrong intuition that commercial art is greater than fine arts but i'll say fine arts is really great so as a person when you go through a fine arts college there are people some people i say that they say okay we are good in drawing why do we need to draw why do we need to go to fine arts college when we are already good at drawing we can do paintings at home see when you go to a fine arts college the teachers are shaping you 
not just with painting they're teaching you aesthetics that what is aesthetic As aesthetics are the aestheticians like dr sigmund freud he talks about significant form a significant form is a very important part in a painting so it teaches you more deep into art it's like a theory of art which helps you get more into art history of art it tells you what has become from the phases from prehistoric renaissance cubism fauvism and there are different eras which happened in art when you deeply we studied deeply about it so when you know about everything of this thing you will get more into it so it's a lot what does the entrance exam consist of apart from goa college part where else one can get started see in goa there's only one fine arts college at goa college of arts there are several one the best college in the in, in india for right now is snu in hyderabad the saroj naidu institution in hyderabad it's the best college it's like literally having it's it's modernized because even in my college goa college of art they are restricted to canvases itself but this modern day and generation art it's like you people are doing installation arts they are doing the sculptures they are doing they are going beyond canvases canvas is not the medium right now people have done different works and they are literally a vast like you don't there is no something restricted to canvas so apart from goa college there are uh, there are many colleges in uh, out of goa like in baroda we have jjs in bombay which is very famous jj college of fine so jj college of fine arts in bombay and we have in baroda college we have in pune mit university and we have a lot so there's no there's no option where else can one can try it's like anywhere you can apply but then in those colleges you need to be more better than being in goa college of art because those colleges standard is literally very high compared to goa college of art which form of art you prefer visual abstract and why okay for me i see that no art for me is superior or inferior okay it is what your mind will tell you to do but mostly i'm a visual artist because i believe that visual art is something that appeals more to people i feel that abstract art is something that uh, doesn't convey much to people so maybe in future but i won't go with abstract art because abstract art i have some people feel that it's very simple and anyone can do it in visual art when i do is i'm trying to put my emotions and i will probably be currently like i'm doing my work in a uh, visual art like <clears throat> i'm doing my paintings that are visually and uh, appealing to me so it's nothing something different and all so it's very simple i'm doing things that are <clears throat> my family based my feelings my emotions and uh, general issues of goa nothing is that i'm going to abstract even if i'm reaching to abstract uh, it might i don't know when i'll reach to that stage maybe in life it will take several of experience painting so i can't tell when i'll be uh, when i'll any time to abstract I have, for right now i never did any abstract painting because it's literally something that doesn't uh, help me to get into and I'm not reached at that stage yet where I can do abstract art, and I'm very comfortable with what I'm doing right now. My my style, that's it. Any suggestion for online courses in art? See, online classes uh, is not the solution for art because for uh, for art you need to be offline. The more you're offline, the better the the instructor or the teacher will help you to show. But the demo is something must. But if you want to be, if you want to have it. be assigned to an online class you can see youtube videos and all you don't need to be registered for a special online class you know you can be into a, you can go to youtube and there nowadays youtube is literally a, the next teacher for everything youtube is like the teacher for all forms of based this year you don't need to go to a online class and all so i don't feel like you need to go for an online thing better if you go for an offline classes Oh, very important thank you dr viroti any other questions i would love to answer them Yeah, you cannot instead of typing, can you just on your mic and ask me a question? No issues with that.
in a day how much time should one devote to art see a person might devote just one hour of his time but that one hour will be so dedicated that the person may not be thinking about anything literally if that one hour he is totally into what he is doing and that one hour is a lot well whatever it is, you might even spend you know, 15 minutes a day 20 minutes but for at least for for the artist to spend minimum at least he needs to see one or two hours is very less than doing a painting me myself when i'm doing a painting and when i'm starting a work if i start at nine o'clock and it will be almost 10 it will almost like in the morning if i start nine it's five o'clock already and i don't even realize when the time just passed by when you're doing a painting you get so involved into the painting that you don't know when time passes by it just goes like a plane literally and if you're bored and, and not a fine arts is not only art as such anything when you do something with your full concentration your full body and your soul is into that thing your time will never matter you can just go into it and you are will never see how long and you're like oh this is almost it's been more than five hours and i'm doing something and pablo picasso said that thing and he used to he said this thing i got i heard it from my, my teacher told me about this when he used to do his painting he used to do it without his slippers and all because he said that when he's doing a painting, he his body is lost. It's just his soul and the painting. So he never feels tired. He can stand for hours and hours. It's just his it's just the connection between his soul and the canvas. And he'll never feel physically painful and all. And it's like for an artist, um, definitely if you're doing a career, if you're doing a career in fine art, at least you need to spend two, three hours practicing daily at least. Careers after taking fine arts. See, careers after taking fine arts, you can be a teacher in a school, you can be a teacher in a college, you can be an art curator, you can be a professional artist who is doing painting for galleries. There are very famous galleries like Experimental in, 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 that's in Delhi. So in Goa, we don't have any gallery, well-known gallery. Uh, for Emoji is there, but that's when, you, when people say that Emoji is a gallery, it is a gallery, but... Uh, uh, I won't say that's the best gallery. There are many galleries. When you see at a gallery, a true art gallery will literally go mad. Uh, if you want to see serious paintings and all, uh, yeah, but uh, MOG had a serious uh, exhibition, which was the FM Sosa collaboration. And that literally had very good works. So, careers after fine arts, it's like not a vast area. But you can, you can apply for a job of a teacher where you can get financially supported and you can get payment with, with, and then you can even do commission works. Commission works are like, they are not interesting. You can get a good amount from commission works. You can get, you can become an art curator. You can work for, a, you can become, a, you, can, you can be an artist selected by a gallery. So the choices are not a lot, but there are a few enough choices. Does learning art in school help get into art college? Definitely. The thing that we are lacking nowadays is that we are in our schools are never promoting art, I feel. There are very few schools in Goa and few schools, I'll say, who give importance to art. So the students who are good in painting, drawing and all, there is no push for them when they're in school, I feel. When they're in school, if there are hardly anyone saying that, okay, you can become an artist. They'll just, I feel, I feel that people mostly say, if you join fine arts, what are you going to do? Oh, because there are no much job options in fine arts. Good into art, what's that to go into art? You have to give a try. Instead of getting into a thing that a job that you're not happy about and just doing and sitting about it into going at nine o'clock for a job and coming at five o'clock home, do something that you are good at, enjoy something that you will cherish, something that your heart and your soul feels to do, and definitely freedom will, I mean, success will come on your way, and the fruit will definitely be sweet. It's like the whole art journey is very, you can say it's a very bitter journey, like very difficult, a struggling journey. But then you, the sweet will definitely be sweet if you're working hard towards the journey. And I feel that schools need to promote. I uh, need to have a subject that is serious that will help students feel that they okay I can go into fine arts and be be a positive way of approaching to children and saying you can take fine arts. But for me, literally, there was a sister Lucy. She literally helped me and skill shape my skills in school. She was the one helping me. They were.
give me joy in my heart. I went also and literally it helped me a lot. So yeah, school is something necessary that will help our student shape his uh, ideas, thoughts to join fine arts college. Would you recommend undergoing tutorials for facing the entrance exam? Uh, yeah, there are there are there are a few art teachers who are taking who are taking classes for students who want to join fine arts. Even I'm taking uh, tuitions and all. I mean, I take art classes for the students who want to join fine fine arts college. I will I teach them the basics and all. And there are even more te most teachers and all who teach uh, painting and all. It's not something you don't need to be a professional at going into art college. Because when you go into fine arts college, there are, who are, there are teachers, experts, you know, things, and they literally make everyone the person with a very less skill. End of the four years, it's a four year journey in fine arts first year, second year, third year, fourth year. In the person by the end of the fourth year is literally uh, not a master, you'll say, but he is well versed with fine art. So, uh, first year, second year, it's like all the subjects we have painting, uh, we have like, we don't have drawing, we don't have, we have memory drawing, we have uh, nature study, we have sculpture study, the human figures, in second year, third year, second year and first year is a similar, we have then printmaking, we have sculpture, a small sculpture scale, so when you go into third year, it's up to you what you choose, like there are three, four specializations, portraitures, um, murals, then we have printmaking and we have sculpture. So it's up to the student what he's choosing for and what he opts to take. And then he is specialized into that only. So I had taken portraiture, so I'm specialized in portrait portraits. What would you what about performing art? See, art is I as I said, art is not about just painting, it's vast nowadays. There are people, there are performance artists, there are performing artists who I have seen live. We had in Sunapra when I was in third year, we had a Norwegian artist. A lady who had come and she was a performing artist. So she tried to perform, trying to tell her story of her village where they stayed in their Norway. She tried to get the story of the tribe through her act, through her, through her gestures, through what all the things make up what she used. Try to get it, and they meaning they got it to us. We tried to paint, paint it not visually but performing. So. Even I, I was a part of the Sunatra uh, sale initiative lab, and we had a we had one uh, one of my member colleague who was a performing art show for the exhibition. She did a performance which uh, was it showed about the rasas. Uh, the no, I don't remember exactly, but yeah, performance art is also interesting. It's very thing. It's like my friend itself. He did a performance art. I still remember. One of my one of the teachers said for him, uh, if someone gives you to eat food uh, on the floor, will you eat it or will you eat or will you be preferring to eat it on a plate? So what he did was uh, he took the food and he washed the floor and he ate the food on the floor. He ate the rice curry on the floor because what was his point was that. Uh, it's not uh, the thing that you're served on. It's the food that is giving you nutrients. And it's the food that is serving your purpose. The purpose of eating food is to, it's to get full. Yeah, it's to, I'm not getting the word. I'm sorry for that. To make you full and not just uh, the plate what you're eating on. So definitely, uh, it's a performance art. So he tried to do a performance through that. Performance with art also is a similar trying to tell you a meaning. So it's very important as well. And if you want to see performance arts and all, then they are taking a lot of uh, performance art up, arts. Uh, performance art is being bought up at Sunapranth. A lot of performance artists are coming to the Sunapranth. And there are serious exhibitions that are happening at Sunapranth. So if any, and they are being, and there right now also there's an exhibition happening at Sunapranth. You can definitely go and have a visit over there. Does graphic design come under fine arts? Yes, it comes under fine arts, but under the category of applied art. It's not under the category of painting. It goes under applied art. Any other questions? Applied art also has a different uh, specialization in my college. We have applied art also for anyone who is good in uh, photography, who is good in illustrations, who is good in advertisement. They are teaching advertisement in my college. 
to find apply that so they need to create some ads and all they need to do for product photography and all and then that's also beneficial but i choose to come into painting so that was my choice uh, i have to tell about applied art uh, as much as i know i'm not i'm not well versed with applied because i'm into painting but as far as i know the students who are in my college uh, there are uh, in applied art i don't know the specialization but as far as i know it's like you have photography you have uh, illustrations you have graphic designing and then you have the product photography wherein they do ads and all they they are given some assignments and all wherein they need to they are given a product like for colgate example and they need to try to make a own advertisement of their own so then recently in my class someone there was some student from applied art who come into my class and they wanted that area so they were doing a shoot of of peanut butter so they need to take several shots and also they teach about advertisement there are there are professors who are experts in those fields there are photography and there are illustrations where when they have seen computer graphics and all so yeah this is what i know about applied arts what would you say makes art art itself can you just elaborate on the question itself please what would you say would make say makes art Uh, no, my question, question, yeah. Can you maybe? Uh, yeah, my question was, no. it's like, yeah. Can you hear me? Uh, your voice is coming faded. Oh, okay. Um, can you hear me better now? Uh, just give me a minute. Oh, okay, can say maybe. Yeah, sure. So my question was, if you were if you were to look at a drawing or anything, how would you say that? Okay, fine. This is art, and this is not. Like we could just draw some scribbles, and can we call that art as well? Or is there any particular, I don't know, uh, parameter? Uh, no, it's not like uh, even when you do a scribble. See, there are famous artists whose scribbles are also very important nowadays, like Vincent Van Gogh and all. Uh, they had just done some study works which are really important. Art doesn't have a particular form as such. It's not that a paint a a painting that is colored only is very important. It can be even a small scribble that you know, that is art. People are doing art with even pen thing. So it's uh, not that you need to. It needs to be colored. It needs to be not colored. Uh, it it's just a sketch. A sketch itself can be sometimes very important. Because as I know, there are artists, there are the famous artists from the West, from Britain and all, like Vincent Van Gogh, uh, Pablo Picasso and all. Their sketches, just one line of a work, one line is also very important. It's a, it's a, what you do. It's not the, it's a meaning behind the artwork. So it can be a pen work, it can be anything. It's not, uh, it doesn't need to be complete. It can be anything literally. No, and art is what makes art is like. Uh, no, not a finished work of art. Maybe it can be anything. A photography also is art, work of art. Even color, making two, three photographs, collage, and making something. But if they have meaning to it, definitely is art. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Welcome. Hope you got clear the what you wanted. Yeah, I did. What are the subjects taught in standard 11 art stream? Okay, in arts when you 11th. I mean, which layer? Talking about the 11, 12, right? If it is uh, 11th and 12th, then uh, we, it's like you have Hindi, you have Hindi or Konkani as option. You have economics. You have psychology. Uh, you have sociology. Yeah, these are the subjects. And no, there's no drawing in this in any way in that. As far as I took, when I was in 12, they had sociology, psychology, his, Hindi, English. Yeah, that's it. And we have some computers. Uh, computer is some part subject. And uh, physics, and yeah, PT as well, I guess. But no drawing subject, as I remember. Fine arts in Goa College. 
college uh, okay fine art in goa colleges in goa is just uh, one goa college of arts that's in altin penjim uh, that's the only fine arts college available in goa nothing much nothing yet so it it's it's having a bachelor's course as well as uh, recently they started masters 3 year, two years back and uh, yeah i'm doing masters right now so yes goa college of arts is the only option for uh, fine arts in goa they'll be having the exams now next in june july august something that will that will they have to apply they there's a website of Goa college of arts wherein they put the uh, prospectus the brochure and all where you can apply and you can uh, inquire what stream should we pursue if we want to do fine art uh, in future can we get into art college yeah, definitely. I have classmates who are from the science stream. So it, it, in finance, it's not a matter of a stream. You can come in from any stream. You can come from science, arts, commerce, vocational, or anything. You just need to be 12 past though. And 12 is a must to join uh, fine arts, I guess. Any more questions? Any queries what you want to ask about fine arts or any doubts you're having about what you want to have, maybe any classes, anything like what can you all do, what medium, anything you can ask me anything right now. Or any question about art? The older age, uh, I'm not pretty sure of that, but yeah, because there is a, I have a student in my class who is the age 32 years, he's my classmate right now in masters, uh, definitely you can join I guess when you are any age, no issues, because uh, there are, for masters there were people, uh, and for masters there were people who have graduated a past uh, seven ten years back and they have come back to college so definitely i don't think that it uh, it's a matter of age but for bachelors i'm not sure enough but for masters definitely but i don't think that age must be a matter of issue to find much because at last it's uh, the interest so age is not an issue unless you're literally 70s and 80s i feel they won't take i feel does Goa College of Fine Arts offer short term courses? No, it doesn't offer short term courses. You either, you when you're joining Fine Arts, it's a four years course and you need to complete that course to get your degree. And the degree is a bachelor's in Fine Arts uh, and what specialization you're taking in. Did you, did you ever face a burnout while creating art? Uh, if you did, did you overcome it? Uh, what? Can you clarify with us like born out like what way? Maybe Rucha, can you just elaborate on the like born out? I'm not well versed with big words. The sense of getting tired of doing the same thing. No. I never got uh, tired of doing something like in art at least just once I had the fear like I when I passed my uh, I was going to graduate from bachelor I was like I had a fear like okay now what but then uh, I I I just said and I thought like I said I won't uh, this thing I'll just uh, apply right and then uh, there were I, I talked to some of my teachers definitely if you face a burnout you can always talk to a person you will definitely feel good enough you don't need uh, you, for anything in life like when you're feeling low and you just need to talk to something you need to talk to someone maybe and, and then definitely uh, maybe listen to good music itself your music itself uh, is a healer I feel good music and, and 
I never felt a burnout in my painting when I was doing art and all. Never, because any even if I felt like okay, my painting is not turning out well, uh, definitely I gave a second try. I never gave up on any painting. So I kept doing it. Uh, so the burnout thing. What are people who have embodied in art without training? Uh, like, see, uh, frankly, to me, uh, this is my opinion. Okay, and not my opinion. The people who have really done fine arts, Doctor Subodh Kerkar was a doctor and he came to arts. That's well and good. But then I feel that what he is doing, uh, it, it has a meaning to it. He has, he says he has a meaning to it. But I feel that there are some people who. Do art for the sake of doing art, like doesn't have a meaning to it. Doesn't it's not emotionally attached, nothing connected to it. And what he, he might be having knowledge enough, enough about art, but the person who has done fine arts course and who has gone through a, who has gone through aesthetic lectures, I feel aesthetics is very important for shaping an artist because aesthetics helps you deeply enough to shape your thoughts. It's not a, a artist might be good enough with a skill, but if your brain and your thinking process is also not developed into the fine arts area, then it is literally very difficult. Because when I was in fourth year and all, I did not take aesthetics are very important. I never gave uh, interest in those subject. I felt like I had the same intention. I felt like why do we need to study the subjects? It's only the painting and drawing that is important. But gradually in my masters, when when I when I literally studied uh, aesthetics very deeply, aesthetics literally helps you to create very good work of art. Aesthetic will help you think more about art, and it will get you a deeper connection into art. So I feel that Subodh Kerkar might be doing very good work, but then his aesthetics knowledge might not be as good as a student from fine arts. I can clearly say that thing. And what there are some works which our people just do for the sake of beautification, and that what I said. But beautification is different from fine arts. You know, doing fine arts, you're doing people are there are serious. You know, in a fine arts college itself, also I will say there are thirty, fifty, thirty people, thirty artists who are coming into fine arts. But are these thirty artists who are coming into fine arts when they are doing graduation? Are this? It's a question about are these thirty artists who are coming to fine arts college seriously thinking about art when they get out of the college, or are they going into some other stream? There are artists. I there are I know people who came into fine arts college and after passing out, they are doing is all they are doing is decorations and they are doing uh, some are doing narcasur and some are uh, this thing. Because even the people who become a, a teacher, when they become a teacher, a drawing teacher and all, it is it, they just go for the school, they teach the students, and they come back. Are they seriously doing a work of art? Are they seriously into? Are they seriously giving that meditation and that uh, dedication to the art what they want? See, there are in the in the Goa itself there will be several thousands of artists who have already got the bachelor's in fine arts degree. But are these all artists giving their hundred percent to art itself, or they are just doing art for the sake of doing art? That's the main question. There are people who are doing art for the sake of doing art. That's not art. When you are doing art, you literally need to be serious about art. You need to be. There are artists the, like Vince, Vincent Van Gogh, Pablo Picasso. They did not think about anything literally. They were so deep into doing paintings. They were just into painting, 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 and literally. Vincent Van Gogh went so mad when he was he went to a mental discharge. He used to eat paints and all when because he did not have cash at that time. He was cashless. He did not have money for eating uh, for eating. So he used to eat drink turpentine and he used to eat the acrylic paints, which caused his death later on. But then those people they were like day night painting, 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 just dedicated to painting. Nothing else was matter part of matter to them. They didn't think that people will like my work. When you're doing an another important aspect, which I say is, when you do a work of art, you don't need to please another person. The work must please your own self, and then let it please others. If you're doing a work by thinking, okay, I'm going to satisfy some people, then that's not a work of art for me. But for me, a work of art is that will satisfy my own self, and then it might satisfy someone else. But if I'm not satisfied with the work of art, it's not a work of art for me.
can you specialize in graphic designing like a bachelor in master's degree definitely when you when you take applied arts applied arts also has a master's degree and a bachelor's degree also so graphic designing also has a degree master's and a bachelor's degree no longer feel inspired or motivated to draw how do artists make a living when they are are not prominent how do they survive in the initial days for example someone who doesn't have family money to rely on uh, see when you are when you are when you are an artist uh, and you are, you have the skill of uh, doing portraits you have skill of doing landscapes and all and if you don't have money see a person when they don't have money or you know, if they really are in the will to do something right something or something people do If you are lazy enough and you don't have money, if you sit and say I don't have money, money won't just come away from somewhere, right? When a person who wants to achieve his dreams and his career, he will do something or something. He will either work for a part-time job or he will do a painting. For me, right now, I'm not earning as such. I'm just studying. But yeah, I get commission painting, which um, which I get around. Uh, like you do a portrait and you earn around two thousand, one thousand and all. So and during if we had in college if we and all. So that was a great exposure for us, wherein we they were, we were doing live portraits of people. So if a person is uh, lack of income and all, you can definitely go for a part time job at night and all. So see, when you want something in your life, you can do anything. It's not that uh, about money. You can't give up on something. And if you want to, if you're good at fine arts, then definitely why not just go on the beach and sit with a book and a pen and do sketching live for people. And then there are people love live sketches. So if you just cost around three hundred, and there are ten people coming to you earning three thousand in a day, so why not just go out and do sketching? If not sketching, there are people hotels and all where people want murals, paintings, yeah, and what not. Like a lot of options for that. You don't need to be worried about money and a family, like. No. I have a classmate of mine who who doesn't take money from his family anymore. He is on he he does paintings and all, and he's earning from his own self. So he's surviving on the this thing. And initial days, like definitely when we when we are in a when we are in a college and all, there are people definitely parents will support that much and all. And there are students who do commission work. So commission work also is. I won't say it's bad enough for artists. They need to do something wherein they have to survive. So that's the reason I say that if you, when you become a art teacher, that's a way where you're getting your income, and with that money you can do your painting. And yes, definitely. And definitely, when people pass out from fine arts college and they become a teacher, I feel that the pe pe the teachers must uh, try to at least send two three students sincere enough who will really be a good artist to the society. And not just you know there are some teachers in art colleges in fine art in schools I mean who just teach an apple for a student literally just an apple which doesn't even uh, trigger the mentality and the creativity of a student when a student is small when the student is in school that's the best creative time a person can be creative it's a, a child is the most creative person you give a pencil to him he'll do something without the fear of how it looks and all that is also itself very serious art. So when a child does something, he has no intention, nothing. He is doing something for enjoying. He is enjoying that thing. That is important. What is the number of seats uh, at the GCA each year, and how many applications are there each year? See, there are around three hundred to two hundred applications every year, and for painting it is twenty. Uh, But now recently they have extended it to thirty. I have thirty twenty five. I have extended it. But when I joined, they were twenty. So now they are around thirty-five, and in applied, they are around forty. So total around seventy uh, students are selected for the first year. Applied and painting. So paintings are always less seats. Applied are more seats. So because the painting, you need to use canvas, and also is less space. So the uh, total first year uh, is divided into thirty or forty seats of the applied, uh, and the twenty to twenty-five or thirty seats of painting students. Can I get this session on YouTube? Uh, I have no idea about that. You can maybe ask the uh, uh, Savio. Maybe I think so. They have recorded the session, so you can ask them and you can get a yeah video clip of this. Yeah, we'll be uploading it on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, you'll get it on the YouTube channel. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, uh, uh, I think we can have uh, one last question if anybody has.
Yeah, any more questions? Anyone can ask last few. Okay. You're, you're welcome, Frederick Norula. I hope I was informative enough to inform people not much about fine art because I'm still studying. I'm not an expert in fine art yet. I'm still a student of masters and I, it's a long journey for me to learn enough. So whatever knowledge I had about my journey, I have shared with you people. It was not something very, if it was not something very informative, I'm really sorry. Because I'm still studying. I am still in the veil of learning. So whatever I have got through the four and plus my two years of uh, fine art and my career in art, I shared my every information with each and every one of you here. Okay, uh, so if anyone uh, would like to ask um, Jordan any more questions, you can, uh, Jordan, you can share your number uh, with uh, on the chat box if anybody yeah. wants to personally text you. Yeah. Yeah, this is my number 9623473989. You can personally message me if you have any doubts and all, and you need any help in regarding fine arts. Painting, drawing, definitely I'll I'll message you. Uh, Instagram handle. I'll just share it. Yeah, and this is my Instagram handle, Juno Creative Mind Art Gallery. You will come serve you. Okay. Okay, so uh on behalf of the Collaborative Learning Cafe and everyone present here, I would like to first thank uh, Mr. Jordan D'Souza for accepting our invitation to conduct an online webinar on a career in fine arts. Thank you, Jordan, for sharing your valuable knowledge, skills, and experience in the field of fine arts. The paintings that you presented were really amazing. Through your session, we have learned different forms, characteristics, and techniques of art, deeper mean meaning behind the paintings, connecting emotions with art, and the expertise required to pursue a career in fine arts. The session was very interactive, informative, and provided the right guidance in getting into this career. Thank you very much, Jordan, and God bless you. Jordan, can I just answer yeah. one question? Oh, Brenita. Yeah. yeah. What are the criteria for admission for fine arts? So, no criteria, just you know, their admissions will be in June, July, August. You just need to go to the website on, on Google and type Boa College of Arts, you'll get a form. Prospective, you just need to uh, enter the form, they'll give a given date when you need to go to the college and then uh, they'll have an exam where you need to, uh, they'll be given a memory drawing, a topic like a rainy day or anything as such a bus stand, et cetera, et cetera. And you will have a theory paper, a general knowledge of arts. And then you'll have a subject known as steel life where in three, four objects will be kept in front of you. Like for example, apple, banana, some pottery objects like a vase and something, something. And you just need to compose it well into a paper and do it in any medium of your choice. So these are the three things that you need to get good into marks and then yeah, that's it. And you need to be 12 pass to get admission into fine arts. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Thank you everyone. Good night.